Hi guys, Matt, Technical Manager at Matt Digital here, and in this video, we'll take a closer look at the Kudi Whole Home Mesh Solutions. Available in two flavors, both Wi-Fi 6, white pack being uh, AX1800, and the top end black being AX3000. Let's take a closer look. As mentioned, the only difference between the two, uh, apart from the color, is the speed. So the AX3000 being uh, three gig, and AX800 being 1.8 gig, both 2.4 and 5 gig uh, dual band uh, mesh systems. Really, really love the packaging on these, really nice, clean. AX1800 will cover about 5,500 square feet, with the AX3000 uh, covering about 6,000, so slightly big, bigger range, more than enough to cover any you know, general house um, for, for most people um, as a domestic install. The standard white comes with gigabit ports, the black comes with a 2.25 and a gigabit, so you can use either. In the units themselves, dual core processor, 1200 meg um, on, five, on five gig, and then the remaining on 2.4. Being a mesh system, you've got your wireless roaming automatically built in, and they come with inbuilt uh, security and privacy settings. So you can set up things like the DNS servers, you things like Cloudflare if you want to. Um, you can use VPNs through them as well. Um, it's all built into to these units. Triple packs are three units to give you that, that great coverage across uh, any sort of domestic property. If you do need greater coverage though, they are available in singles as an additional unit. So if you need to bolt on, you can, nice and simple, and you can match that into the existing triple pack. So in the triple pack, lo and behold, you get three. One, two, three. All of them exactly the same, no difference between any of them. So inside one of these, you get your little box of goodies and then the mesh unit itself. Inside your box of goodies, all you need, your power supply, get a little ethernet cable, your quick start manuals um, and guides. Always RTM. So let's take a quick look at how simple and easy it is to set up a Kudi whole home mesh system. All you need obviously is the unit uh, and a 12 volt power supply which comes with the unit itself. Real, real simple. Literally, plug it in um, and wait for it to boot up. So you'll notice at the bottom the light will start to flash. Um, so it'll start with a red. The main node of the system, the master node, will need to be hardwired into your main router. You can set these up to be a router as well, or you can just use them as a mesh extension onto the existing network provided router. So once it's up and running, you'll see that the light starts to flash. Um, so obviously at the moment, this one would be connected to the main network router. Um, from your mobile device or from your laptop, um, open up your Wi-Fi and search for the Wi-Fi that's being broadcast by the unit that you've plugged in. Now, on the bottom of each unit, you've got a little label, and on there it gives you um, the SSID for both 2.4 and 5 gig, as well as the password, your serial numbers, and all your other information on the bottom of the device. Um, so we're looking for 0530. So from my mobile device now, I can go into uh, my network settings, and I can see that it is picking up that signal. So, tap onto the device, onto that network, um, and then pop in the password for that device, I say, is printed on the bottom of that serial number, and join the network. Once you connect to the Wi-Fi of the device, go into your browser, um, and just type in kudi.net. This will take you to the landing page of the unit, and then just log in. By default, usual password of just admin and hit login off if you want to save the password you can so you can either set this is a wi-fi mesh router so if you're replacing an existing network router um you'd select that if you're doing it as a mesh access point um which is what we're going to do in this scenario where you are using this to provide the wi-fi throughout the building um but you're not replacing the main network router you want to select that option. You can use them as wireless extenders if you want to, like a repeater, um, or for WISP solutions as well. So we can select mesh access point. We're gonna select um, our region and time zone, so European and London, absolutely fine. Um, so then gonna tell us to connect it to uh, from the LAN port um, into your main network router. So in this scenario, we're not gonna do that. Then we can pick um, our SSID names and our passwords. So if you want to broadcast just one, you can marry the two names up together. 
um, and that'll make sure that both your 2.4 and your 5G network broadcast as one SSID and it'll automatically band steer your devices between which signal is the best. If you want to separate your networks and have a specific dedicated 2.4 and 5 gig network, just name them something slightly different. So like I say, by default, the 5G has DAS 5G on the end. Choose your password that you want. Hit next. And it'll ask you just to confirm those settings that you set up. Hit save and apply. And that's then gonna set that up, um, reboot the unit, um, and obviously now our password's gonna change. So when that does that, it's gonna kick you off the Wi-Fi because either the name's changed or the password's changed. So before you go into the next step, you need to make sure that you reconnect back to that network. Wait for that network to reappear. There we go. So it's gonna try and connect. It's probably gonna tell me now that the password is wrong. So let me just forget that network and then try and rejoin it. There we go. Ask me the password to so change me one exclamation mark and hit join again. So now I'm going to reconnect back to that network. There we go. So because I'm not connected to the internet on this unit, it's going to ask me to log back into the unit. So at the moment we can see there that the internet status is not connected, which is fine. Mesh status is currently as sole. So at the moment there's only one unit as part of that mesh. And you can also see the number of devices that are connected to the network on both the 2.4 and the 5 gig Wi-Fi. You can see what the status, what LAN IP default things are, and what Wi-Fi details are again, and what firmware version, the time, date, and how long it's been on for. Um, and that is as simple as it is to set up your main node. So thanks again for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and drop a comment in the bottom. Um, happy to help. Reach out to us um, if you've got any questions around the QD range. Like I say, we'll go through the rest of the range in some further products, but we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.